Welcome back. Today, we're taking a quick look back at the 10 weirdest sports in Olympic Games history. The Paris 2024 Olympics kicked off in typically French style, with an esoteric opening ceremony that saw each national team bobbing along the Seine, while a metal horse galloped for a little too long behind them, and adopted Frenchman Raphael Nadal gamely smiled through the drizzle. It was fun, but could have done with a little more Mr. Bean. The Olympics is the greatest sporting spectacle on the planet, but it can also be a bloated, weird, cumbersome event. At Rio in 2016, there were 28 sports represented. In Tokyo, there were 33. Paris has bucked the trend, welcoming 32 different categories, but a modern Olympics is much more than track and field. The Olympics has certainly embraced its extreme side too, with skateboarding, breakdancing and BMX freestyle, now alongside the more traditional pursuits of running fast and throwing far. 10. Solo synchronized swimming. OK, synchronized swimming, officially known as artistic swimming, in itself is a bizarre inclusion in the Olympics. Why is dancing in water, or indeed on a horse or on ice, considered an Olympic sport? but ballroom dancing is not. But that's neither here nor there. The real point is, the idea of synchronized swimming is to have a whole team of participants performing in perfect unison. Synchronicity, if you will. The clue is in the name. And yet somehow, the Olympic overlords decided that solo synchronized swimming was worthy of inclusion in 1984. And 1988, and 1992. Nine, horse long jump and horse high jump. Equestrian sports seem unfair. The horse does all the work and the rider gets the trinkets and the glory. You never see a top show jumping pony getting its wedding featured in OK Magazine or taking part in a question of sport. But we're prepared to admit that they can make for a degree of excitement. Horse long jump and horse high jump though, that's plain weird. These jumping events took place in Paris in 1900 and we're ever so slightly disappointed it wasn't at least introduced as a possibility for reintroduction 124 years later. Take note of Paris 1900 too because that games will feature again and again and again. Eight, plunge for distance. There's no denying this is quite a fun game. I play it with my kids sometimes, but I also play Scrabble with them and that's not an Olympic sport. Yet at the 1904 games in St. Louis, competitors had to dive in the pool and see how far they could drift underwater until they surfaced, up to a maximum of a minute later. All five contestants were from America, and the event was won by William Dickey, with a distance of 62.5 feet. You can only assume he became known as Drifting Dickey by the International Olympic Committee. 7. 3,000 metres steeplechase Maybe this is a bit of sour grapes on my part. I'm a big athletics fan and this is a sport that Britain has as much of a chance of meddling in as we do of winning the Eurovision Song Contest anytime soon. But with its hurdles and water jump, it's basically an assault course. Why not chuck in a section where they have to do egg and spoon or crawl under a net? 6. Live Pigeon Shooting we're back at Paris 1900 again for possibly the most shameful event in Olympic history. The object of the sport, as you may have guessed, was to kill as many pigeons as possible. Contestants were eliminated if they missed two in a row. The event was won by Belgium's Leon de London, who managed to euthanize 21 pigeons on his way to avian slaughtering glory. By the end of the event, more than 300 mangled pigeons were dead on the field. What a noble endeavor. 
5. Modern Pentathlon. This event, still going today, is about as modern as a cave painting. It is based upon the military requirements for a good cavalryman, and we all know how useful a cavalry is in the modern age. Just ask the Light Brigade. Participants take part in swimming, fencing, show jumping, long distance running and pistol shooting. It's all so random. Why not chuck in table tennis and weightlifting? 4. Pistol Dueling This one took place at the 1912 Olympics in Stockholm. It wasn't quite as exciting as it sounds, as participants weren't actually firing at each other, which would certainly have added an element of jeopardy to proceedings. Instead, the brave men taking part had to fire at mannequins dressed in frock coats, dueling being the sport of gentlemen with targets painted on their chests. What a waste of a nice frock coat. 3. 200 meter swimming obstacle race. And so we return with heavy hearts to Paris in 1900 again. Swimmers had to climb up a pole, clamber over a row of boats, and swim under another row of boats in a sort of Olympic version of total wipeout. In this instance, the champion was Australian Fred Lane. The event took place in the Seine, which also hosted 2024's triathlon and marathon swimming. Javelin, hammer, discus, watercolours. Number two in our list of weirdest Olympic sports is art. From Stockholm 1912 to London 1948, medals were awarded for sport-inspired artworks from architecture, literature, music, painting and sculpture. Including art was the idea of Pierre de Coubertin, founder of the modern Olympics, who wanted to see people trained in body and mind. So pick up your pen and get writing, Olympian. The only reason juried competitions were dropped in 1954 was because artists were deemed to be professionals, so the inclusion of art was seen to run contrary to the spirit of the games. Fun. Poodle clipping. Of course, there is only one place we could finish. You guessed it. Paris 1900. This was admittedly only a test event, meaning it didn't have full Olympic status. Mystifyingly, it didn't make the cut. It involved 128 competitors performing in front of a crowd of 6,000 in the Bois de Boulogne Park, where they had to clip the fur off as many poodles as they could in two hours. So many questions come to mind. How could they ensure the poodles were the same size? Were they all equally docile? And, most importantly, why in God's name were they doing this? Not that winner Avril Lafoule minded, after winning gold with a total of 17 clipped poodles. Beat that, Paris 2024. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe before you go. See you again soon for another crazy top 10.